Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Shelf Center. Thank you so much for stopping by yet again. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe uh, to my channel, my little bit of the internet here. It really helps a lot. And of course, only if I've earned it. I really appreciate your time though. I wanted, I was asked in my last culture review of Consider Phlebas, which was my first review of the first book, well, of, of any book in the culture series. Uh, but it was actually the, the Consider Phlebas is actually my second book that I actually read of the culture series. I actually read this book that we're here today to review uh, first, which is the second book. It's all clear, I know. 100% clear. So uh, <laughs> I did read The Player of Games, which is the second book in the Culture series first. Uh, now that I've done reviews on both, I guess we can just kind of say it doesn't really matter, right? Um, so those are the only two I've actually read. I probably will go in order of the actual books from here on out. I have use of weapons up uh, sometime soonish. Uh, I just got to get my way through my current TBR of eternity long um, first <laughs> and then I can move on but uh, anyway the player of games uh, this is one of those I I really liked I actually liked more than consider Phlebas even though I like I said in my last review I really enjoyed that one I I thought it was unique it sets up this culture series from the essentially the point of view of their enemy so it's kind of an interesting way to go about it I'm kind of Glad I went in first, I think, with the Player of Games. This, the Player of Games is a much tighter, uh, you know, it's easy to compare the two, but it's a much tighter book. It's very focused mostly just on this one character and his exploits, essentially. And as opposed to uh, Consider Phlebas, which was kind of, it felt a little disjointed at times, even though it did have kind of a, a, a full-blown, you know, everything. Uh, uh, cohesive plot and everything. So I, uh, the player of games is really interesting. It's, um, it, well, it starts out, I'll just read the blurb here. The culture of humanoid machine symbiotic society has thrown up many great game players. One of the best is Jerna Moret Gerge, player of games, master of every board, computer, and strategy. Bored with success, Gerge travels to the Empire of Azad, cruel and incredibly wealthy, to try their fabulous game. A game so complex, so like life itself, that the winner becomes emperor. Mocked, blackmailed, almost murdered, Gerge accepts the game and with it the challenge of his life and very possibly his death. Um, so, uh, it, what's, what's interesting about it is that uh, that's that blurb kind of says it all. He does get blackmailed essentially into doing it, but he is—he's like, he's the ninja of the future. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I know a game player that does games. So, uh, who is my son like? He loves following Preston plays. Anyone Preston plays fans? Um, uh, I know I love him. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> I don't think, uh, luckily, Gurge does not have a YouTube channel, though. Um, <laughs> but uh, the, uh, anyway, so he's just this amazing game player. He knows how to do it. He gets blackmailed, though, essentially, to kind of take this, because it's, it's like he knows the stakes, because he's a game player. He's a strategist. He knows what's up. He knows that this is more going to this, this whole different world to play their game that, Literally, if you win their game, then you rule their society. So he knows that one, what's the culture's kind of stakes in this? Because it's a it's a society outside the culture. What are they doing? He he just kind of knows going in. He like this isn't just let's go play a game and see what's going on. And I think and he's even I mean and and on top of it, he's told some of these things, but. That doesn't mean he doesn't, you know, suspect, suspect more. So he does, uh, it is this kind of crazy. So the game itself, I, what's great is I just learned a lot about 
storytelling in this book, I think you can learn a lot. Um, because what's interesting is that we don't actually ever once know what the game is, right? We don't get to know. We have no idea what this game is. But the way that Banks is able to tell this is really, really extremely interesting. And in that, you know, I'm still on the edge of my seat getting to know, okay, well, what's, what's going to happen next? What, what's this? And, and uh, you know, oh, oh no, they, they, he might lose it all. And you're just like, this is crazy because you really you have no idea how or why or, you know, the, the mechanics of the actual game. Um, but the way he's able to set it up and, and essentially make it so entertaining, even though you have no idea what's actually going on, is really great. And I, it's just, it's really impressive. I, I thought it was so fun to just kind of, I don't know, experience. Uh, because especially the game kind of starts to then, I don't know, change, because it seems like it does. <laughs> it just starts to change as he plays it, as he gets through the rounds. The stakes obviously get higher. Uh, and you can imagine, of course, he's got to go more than one round. So that doesn't spoil it, right? Um, but it is. It's this weird... Um, anyway, and then you have, like... I mean, you have, like, interesting characters. Like, again, you've got droids or whatever. You've got these... Um, what do they call it? Machines, you know. But they're part of the culture society, right? And so, uh, you know, and, and they become adopted. They can become citizens, right? And that's what, at least, I learned in Consider Phlebas. I don't know if I learned it in this one. Uh, I, I, I liked how tight this, this book was that it really does center mostly around Gurge, his exploits, his, you know, winnings or non-winnings and, and just what he's doing. One of the interesting things is they, they describe this technology where as long as you have it on you, you could essentially fall off a cliff and then your droid could or, or machine could be saving you by the time you get to the bottom. And so everybody's always, you know, oh, there's the story of the guy that didn't have his and then he died because he you know, walked off a cliff or something. <laughs> and anyway, it's just interesting. I like just kind of, it'll just casually throw in this like interesting technology of the future. It's not what it's about, but uh, anyway, um, you know, and, and I think there's some deeper meanings to the player of games, of course. So what's interesting too is it, it, he's also, Banks is also able to kind of pit, uh, you know, human intelligence against alien intelligence. And again, does it in a way that I was convinced of it, that that, that was happening. Um, again, that's uh, just impressive to me. Uh, I think that's part of why this book has really stuck with me for quite some time. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I really think uh, you got to try. I think this is a great starting point for the culture. So uh, I don't know if I, I didn't say it earlier, but it, this is no spoilers. I'll say it in the, in the title sequence or whatever in the title. Um, but it's, uh, it's such a perfect, I don't know, it's such a good way to get you into the culture, I think. I thought, I think, I mean, everyone thinks that the way that they did something is the best way. So, of course, I'm no different, and I also agree with my way being the best way. So, <laughs> um, uh, but I, I do, I thought this was a good way to get into it, because it is, it's, it's a lot more, um, it's just a tight-knit structure of this this novel um and it's it doesn't really go f around it to a whole bunch of different places i hear that's that's also kind of the failing too because other books i've read too much but other books do have like funnier characters or, or something like that so you don't really have humor as much in this one as like even even consider Phlebas had some moments um and player games is pretty Again, straightforward, but well-told plot, well-plotted. And I, I just kept thinking about it for ages afterwards. So I can't recommend this one enough. I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10. I thought this was great. I, I guess I'm maybe hedging my bets with these kind of <laughs> early novels because I do hear it even gets better, and I'm excited to, to read more in Ian and Banks' culture series. Check it out. All right. Hey, thanks again. Thanks again for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.